first day of doing the electrical work and also the first day during this entire project that I actually feel fully confident and fully comfortable uh, with what I'm doing um, because I did work as an electrician for over four years so I definitely feel very confident that I can manage to wire this 200 square foot tiny house. I've done a number of new residential homes um, so this is pretty much like when I would walk into a new home to wire it this is essentially how it would look like. So this is very familiar territory for me. Uh, the last three months building this house up to this point has not been familiar territory but I feel fully confident. So it'll probably take me two days to do this if I was like, you know, doing my job as an electrician, it shouldn't take me more than a day to do this because it's really so small. But I want to take extra time filming and explaining how to do certain things uh, just so that anybody watching might get a little bit more confidence with doing electrical projects themselves. Um, if you're very, if you're absolutely terrified of electricity or electrical work, definitely hire a licensed electrician. But if you're more of a do-it-yourselfer, you might pick up some good tips in these videos. Doing electrical work is really, it's not overly complicated. It's not like you need like a bachelor's in like mathematics or anything to do it. Typically you have a black wire, a white wire, and a ground wire. And sometimes you have a red wire as well. So you just need to know which wire uh, does what in uh, which circumstance. So wiring up an outlet, a switch, a light, a three-way switch. Those are the main things that you just need to know and they're not that complicated. Wiring up a three-way switch uh, would be the most complicated thing in a house. So I'll be going through all the different steps. First step is to put all the boxes on the walls, um, all the lights up. This is what I mean by a box. This is what I mean by a light. Or you could have an octagon box for like a, for like a ceiling fan or just like a standard light. So once we mount all the boxes, then we can start drilling all the holes for the wires to run through to each of the boxes or the lights or whatever. Third step, we actually go around and run the wires to everything. And then we terminate all the wires into the boxes and that's pretty much it. So the first thing that I did yesterday um, was actually I went around and marked off where all the receptacles are going, uh, where all the switches are going, counted how many lights so that I could actually generate a material list and I could get an idea of you know where everything is gonna be going in the house. So like right here, I've got one of the kitchen outlets marked. I've got another one right here, the fridge one over there, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what you wanna start off doing first is you wanna lay out where everything's gonna be going in the house. Uh, and then from there, I have all the boxes. Lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of boxes is I can go and start attaching these uh, to the wall.
Oh boy, it is like a freaking sauna in here today. Especially when you're up in the lofts, it's like you're working in an attic. Once this place gets insulated, man, it'll be so much cooler in here. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint uh, the top of the roof white. Um, not any of the trim pieces or anything that you can see from the ground, but just the very top. And that'll keep it a lot cooler as well. So I got all the boxes mounted. I got all the, uh, all the, all the pot lights mounted as well. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start drilling out some of the holes. I'm not gonna run any wire today because I want to bring Hannah over tonight uh, Just so that she can have a look at everything and just make sure that um, Everything that she wants is in the house I've got everything that I want because if she comes in at a later time and something is like missing or whatever Then we're kind of shit out of luck at that point. So I'm just gonna start drilling <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be getting them on soon, pretty soon. So I'm actually gonna just uh, start cleaning up here because uh, I don't wanna get caught out in the rain. I got these holes drilled all the way down to about here. Oh shit, so I think I'm gonna do tomorrow is go to Home Depot and rent a proper corded drill that actually has like a low speed instead of just a high speed. Uh, this corded one, it spins too fast and what's happening, oh shit. This one here is spinning way too fast and there's not enough torque, so it's not really cutting uh, very well. So it gets into there, but then it stops because it's spinning too fast, so I need something with a lower gear on it. I was using the cordless drill for a little bit, uh, but it just sucks through the battery uh, really quickly when you're drilling holes like that. So I think I'm just gonna rent the proper uh, corded drill uh, for tomorrow, then I can get everything drilled out properly because I'm not gonna be able to get it all done with this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean up head on home because I think it's just gonna absolutely pour out. Um, so day one of electrical would have gone a little bit better if I had the proper drill. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Talk to you soon. Peace.